Let's begin uh, with an evaluation of EJ's performance today. Yeah, I think if you like EJ Manuel, you liked what you saw today, Paul. 54 scripted throws. His private coach, Ken Mastroli, I thought did a really nice job highlighting not only his arm strength, but his movement skills. So an awful lot of bootleg, play action, on the move. Paul, he's got a big arm. The question with him is on tape with that Florida State offense, most every throw is between 0 and 10 yards. And the ones that aren't are typically under center off play action. So I think in a pair of gym shorts today, he showed everything you could see. I think he's a better prospect than Christian Ponder was two years ago with more upside. Do you think you're really cutting against the grain there, thinking he's a better prospect than Christian Ponder was a couple years ago, who did end up going 12 overall to the Vikings? Um, are you more by yourself there or are people with you in this? <laughs> In all honesty, I had Ponder as a second-round guy, and Minnesota took him pretty high, and, and the jury is still out there. I think this kid has better arm talent. He's a bigger, more physical specimen, and really his ceiling is higher. Now, I don't know if his floor is as high, but his ceiling's higher, and a team that drafts him is going to be betting on that ceiling. I know there's a certain percentage of scouts and GMs who are aware of your player rankings. I also know on the Pro Day circuit you have conversations during the day and in the evening with those people. Are you getting more of a feeling that, that they question your move to bring him up to two or that they uh, believe that you did the right thing? I, I think, Paul, the way I summed it up to you a couple weeks ago was that if I was going to make a mistake, I was going to do it with a big athletic kid with arm talent. And the more quarterback coaches I've talked to and head coaches and general managers, I, I seem to get a lot of support from that perspective because there are so many question marks about this quarterback class. So, I mean, if you want to like Matt Barkley or Landry Jones or the Wilson kid from Arkansas, you got to go back to junior tape to like them. And then the question becomes, are they just game managers or can they be game winners? And I think when you're talking about Geno Smith at West Virginia and this kid here, E.J. Manuel, you're talking about two potential kids that can win football games. It's going to be surprising if he makes it out of the first round, right? At this point, the way kids are getting pushed up in this draft, and I'm anxious to see Barkley next year because, again, bad senior year, good junior year. But the way kids are getting pushed up at the quarterback position wouldn't surprise me at all, Paul.